Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Straight Talk. In this episode, we're here at our Istanbul office with Nazrin Aliyeva. Nazrin, welcome to the show. Thank you. Nazrin, you look gorgeous today. Thank you so much. Seriously, this is uh, such an amazing dress that you have. <laughs> you, you're always like that. You're always um, um, the, the, one of the most fashionable people inside the office. <laughs> Thank it's, you. Uh, it's such a joy uh, to have you here. And um, Nazrin, um, today I want to talk a little bit about your life as an Istanbulite, somebody who lives on the Asian side. Yeah. Uh, but before we get there, um, a couple of years ago when we, when we filmed our first episode, um, I introduced you as our finance manager. Yes. But ever since, you know, ha, you know how our business develops and we vertically integrate um, different uh, business models and we open up to not different industries, but different functions within the same industry. And um, people like you get to take uh, part in those new ventures of ours. So what are you up to lately? Uh, right now I'm looking for call center um, and now we are going to um, grow again. So we are getting a, one of the um, rights now starting uh, to get a very exclusive sales offices right. uh, belong to a very well-known construction companies. So right now I'm taking head of the operation staff right. of this uh, sphere as well. So it's a challenge for us. Of course. But yeah. obviously we'll be better and we'll be very successful. Can you please talk to us about what do we want to do with uh, getting exclusive sales rights of the biggest projects in Istanbul this year? What sort of an advantage is it going to give us as a company? And what sort of an advantage is it going to give to our audience? First thing we always think is uh, only about our clients. Right. Trying to give the best service, the best price, mm -hmm. uh, the quality for our clients, and then property turkey will gonna go up. Right. So that's how actually the property turkey went up. Right. So what we are trying to do here, by getting these sales offices to get the best price, to control the prices over in the market right. because the prices are drastically goes up. So we are trying to control it. And by showing us and by uh, our clients getting the best service, because let's say we are selling the properties from um, ABC sales offices, to control them for us becomes very complicated. Right. But what we're gonna do, we keep it in house and all the time we'll be very responsible. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to control the con construction companies as well in order when they are seeing the sales, they not to increase the prices a lot. Sure. And um, there's a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, we, we were in the sales operation side of things. Yes. Before, but now we said, why don't we do everything on in property house. turkey? Name? Yes. And let's do everything in-house. And that gives us yet another area to control, such as you talked about. In the past, let's say, a client of mine came and we went to the project X yeah. and, and we sold X number of units. I do not have access to full stock. Agree. And um, at some point of the way, I have to render my client to the um, um, sales office personnel of yeah. that particular project. And if there are, let's say, wrongdoings or mistakes that are coming from um, the developer side or coming from the, the, the sales operation company yes. side, I don't have control over that. And in the past, when I look back at our investment consultants, some people have lost sales because, because of, of the wrongdoings of the yeah. people that they dealt right with. Right now, what we are trying to do, we are trying to minimize the risk for right. our clients and for our company's reputation as well. Yes. So I think it will be very successful and I believe that. Sure. Uh, I don't think I believe on it. Right. Um, let's see. Sure. We, will, we will make a good show there this of year. Of course. Nazrin, the reason why I wanted to talk to you today was because uh, we were discussing with you. Um, <coughs> you, you. You live on the Asian side. Yes. Talk to me about how it is to live on the Asian side from um, as a... As a as a, as a woman who works, who travels to Europe on a daily basis, mm -hmm. and as somebody who spends his weekends uh, on the Asian side, talk to me about the general feel and the atmosphere that you have there. I was living in Besiktas first time. Mm. All the time when I cross on that time, the bridge, I was seeing it's very calm, very silent, never change. And somehow I always like to stay in Bacos. It's very green area. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, surrounded by the forest. Uh, and the, there's an atmosphere so fresh. Do you like living in Bakos? 
Oh, definitely. Uh, I never think to move out of there because um, I'm spending more than uh, already eight, nine years there. And um, I think it is the one of the best place for Tur Turkish people to live there. What I like in, in Bekos, particularly in this Anatolian side, uh, green, fresh, and uh, there's a, a lot of places to walk, such as there's a Hidif Kasru, there's a Tema Park, let's mm. say. Uh, it directly sees the full of Bosphorus. Uh, Hidif Kasru also sees full of Bosphorus, and it's actually my uh, weekend, uh, right. let's say, uh, weekend time I can spend there. I, I'm just going running there sometimes, walking for walking is also nice. Uh, I can also go to Mihribat Korosu for early breakfast amazing place if you've never been there so go there Man. i highly recommend let me ask you this describe me a day because you're a mother yes right you have a son your son goes to school what is it like to live on the asian side in Bakos, in one of the mo in one of the greenest areas in, mm -hmm. in one of the most beautiful parts of istanbul what is it there to live in that particular place and as a as a parent who has a child who's who's cooling and mm -hmm. and you are working on the European side and everything, describe me a day of yours and some of the challenges that you go through and some of the advantages that it has yeah. given you by living in a place like that. Being a mother, uh, five years old, I have a son five years old and he's very uh, active. Right now, and uh, you cannot like put your glass somewhere else because in one minute he can just directly hide himself somewhere else. But putting, living in Bakos, in that Anatolian side, because everyone, first of all, most of the Turkish people are live there. So everyone knows each other. Mm. They communicate each other. And even though I just sent him to the garden, I don't even think that way he is because I know that he will communicate with his uh, friends and, and all, everyone knows Yusuf Jalal and he's riding a bike and everywhere is so, so there's secure. A community culture there's a community and, culture. Right. And everyone, like sometimes my neighbors, there's knocking my door, cook some cake, bring mm. it to me, or I'm going there, or they give me keys. So that's how our communication is. Right. Everyone knows each other. Especially, I miss that. I, I miss really, that. that. That's that's a case, for example, you live in Queen of Pomati, right? Right. I Let live me in explain a, the difference between right. uh, Anatolian side and European side. You live in compound. No one knows each other. Yes. And uh, you can barely say hi to someone. I, I don't know anybody. And I hate nobody that. Nobody knows me. And I hate that. And nobody wants to know anybody. That's, that's an issue. Know? However, they it's some completely different. Right. That's beautiful. But also talk to me about this. Um, when I, I remember this, this was when I was... I first came to Istanbul. I had a friend. She used to live on the Asian side. And I thought to myself, why are you stupid? Are you living on the Asian side? Mm. You, your workplace is on Europe. Why, why are you not living on the European side? You know, it's just, there's, it's more fast paced here. And yep. you're here to make yourself a career. You got to be where the action is. And I, I was right in my logic. But she turned to me and she said, you know what, Aladdin? Every morning I travel to Europe from Asia. I take the ferry. I was doing that as right. well. I sit next to the window. I put on my headphones and start listening some therapeutic music. Mm -hmm. She goes, that 10 minute boat ride gives me all the energy and re relaxation that I need in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I get to start my day as my head is extremely clean and I'm ready for the day. It's a therapeutic experience that very, very few cities in the world has that. And I was like, as a Turkish person, oh, shit, I never realized that, you know, for, because for me always, okay, you, you get into the ferry beat and then there's, there's a lot of people and then you listen to some hard rock music mm -hmm. or whatever. You just don't realize those things. But that just opened my eyes mm -hmm. to how beautiful of a city that we are actually yes. living. And you get to cross that bridge every day. Do you also get a therapeutic experience while you're crossing well, the bridge? Car? Honestly speaking, when I got, comes from an Anatolian side to European, yes. Yeah. But when I go back, uh, hey, with traffic jam. Right. Uh, so, you know, sometimes it takes two hours to go. So I say, oh, I don't want to, this, yeah. to every day deal with it. But when I enter to home, I say, yeah, this is the place that I really, I choose, I love. Right. And I, it's a place that I will live. 
To be honest with you, I wouldn't be able to live on the Asian side. You I didn't try. I did. I did. Um, when was that? I lived in Atashir. But Atashir is completely different. Look, At Atashir is the all finance center. It's investment place to live. Right. And there, Atashir there is commercialized. Uh, let's say there's a. it's for the people who is like, who will work for banks and things. Lifestyle is completely different. No, no, you're right. You're when right. I, for example, when I bought in Bakos... Uh, I never think for investment. I never look. In, in fact, I did a very good um, profit from this property, right? No. Yeah. But the thing is, when you uh, when you buy from Bakos, and there's a, far, a few particular places to buy in Anatolian side, you never think about investment. You purchase for the lifestyle. Yes, you're right. You're right. Okay. I mean, w what I'm saying is that that type of lifestyle. Personally, it's is, not, is not for me. It's not yeah. for me. I mean, I, I like, I like the buzz of the city. Yeah. Right. I I like the towers. I like to. We'll have see when you become a, a father. View. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I tried living in Zekeriako. You know this. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 We, we had a beautiful yeah. place with an the amazing Kiki villa. Zekeriako is also a very lovely place. To right. Me. I had everything next to me. There was a you, you know the house right the next ne next to it. There was a forest. Yes. From my bed, I wake up and I see the forest and I leave home with my dog. We are inside. The birds are, you know, singing. Yeah. Oh, just amazing, amazing. For some reason, it just didn't work for me. Maybe I'm too young. I don't know. Maybe I like this type of a life that has a pace and everything. But um, I, just, I just couldn't do it. But would you say, now that I'm thinking about becoming a father, would you say that I should consider the Asian side? There's a few places on the European side as you told, Zekirikyo, Kemar, Burgas, Gökçürs, right. they are good places. If I choose this place, I will definitely go that places. However, if you're going to go to Anatolian side, you need to consider a few places as well to live. One of them is Bakos. That's where so, you live. Yes. Uh, so, especially as a single mother who lives in uh, Turkey, this is the safe, fa safest place to live. Right. In. So, uh, therefore, I fully recommend for families right. to stay there. Talk to me about education because everyone thinks that, okay, European side of yeah, Istanbul is the more Kereke developed. Is a, yeah, yeah, only British a, college, yeah, 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 yeah. which uh, Arden and Myra is going. Right. Um, however, uh, there's also very good schools in Anatolian side as well, which yeah, right now Yusuf Jalal is going. Yeah, he's going to, right? yeah. Yeah. Going to TED, uh, Çengelköy. TED. Uh, TED. TED. Um, uh, this education system is according to Turkish, Turkish curriculum. However... They have a English version as well, which I'm sending him to English English version of school. He speaks good English. There's the E2, E2 Vakfı College. Um, it's a uh, branch of, uh, one of the branch of E2, you know, E2, uh, everyone. There's a university and they have schools as well. There is um, Doğa Koleji, Beykoz. It's a very massive uh, building and very massive guard. There's a um, horse riding uh, swimming, a massive There's swimming all sorts pool. Of art yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Have everything. Tennis courts as well, uh, which was very important for me. So I like this uh, this school as well. There's a few good schools. They are also have uh, IB bachelor system as well and uh, fully English version of the schools as well. Talk to me about this college that your son goes to. <laughs> is there? Is it like what? It's an elementary school, or does it have like mid middle school, high school, like there's higher middle, education? Higher, is, is there everything? There's everything included. It's one of the best in Turkey, um, and uh, they have everything. Like they have English courses, they have a secondary uh, language courses as well. They have a um, all the amenities. What What's you the language of education? It's English. My son's in English. The education yes. language is English. Yes, yes. yes, but it's according to the Turkish. They are uh, they are following the Turkish curriculum. Let's say the very school that your son is going to. Uh, it's good for our our foreign audience who yes. are planning to move to Turkey Obviously. and send your kids and everything. Obviously. Can you please talk to us a little bit about what are the fees like? Uh, what do they need mm -hmm. for acceptance? And once yep. you get accepted, how does a you know a day? of uh, education look like and what yeah. do you get out at, at the end of it the diploma does it work only in turkey or is it mm -hmm. like is it internationally recognized no it's internationally recognized and by the way um there's a few uh, you, 
schools there's international recognized and by the way right now it doesn't need that your school papers should be international recognized you no. have a SAT uh, you have IELTS and TOEFL so you can get this ed- exams which when your kids are growing up if they are going to get education in English they're automatically going to get these papers ready as well mm-hmm. and by the way it's good it's good because our uh, foreign people uh, like foreign clients who they are getting a Turkish citizenship, they need to integrate to Turkish nation as well. Of course, the yeah. kids need to speak in Turkish. Yeah. Therefore, they need to send their kids to Turkish, follow the curriculum system, but in English because mm-hmm. for them it will be very easy to educate. At the meantime, they will integrate with the Turkish people, of course. and they will speak in Turkish. So I think it's the best choice for them mm-hmm. uh, to send their kids to this kind of schools, and it's cheaper than the British school as well. In British school, the price is around $30,000, $35,000 per annum. Uh, per annum. Uh, here, there's a, uh, let's say, uh, $15,000, $15, uh, $12,000, $13,000 is approximate mm-hmm. range. Yeah, so that was a, that, that was a very important aspect of living on the Asian side because yeah. uh, most of our clients are thinking about the Asian side. They're always thinking about the schools as well. They yeah. think about the house, but they also think about the schools. The thing is the foreign nationals, they, because they don't know these areas, for example, uh, most of, we have a client, I had a client a few months ago. Um, she wants to relocate with her family to, to Turkey. So I, I listen to her and I realize that she's for an Italian side. You know, the thing is sometimes the agencies, they are also not in touch only with me, they are in touch with other agencies as well. And it's easy for them to move them, to, to reallocate them to Beylik Cizu, to assign you somewhere else. Uh, however, when you look at the sea and people, when they reallocate to Turkey, especially Russians, they really love to buy properties by viewing the sea there was a there was a project that um we used to sell do you remember la mer dragos oh very yes. lovely uh prince island view yes amazing yeah. project i remember going there and we were filming a promotional video for the project i i just filmed it like that but before we left i just turned my back to the sea and just looked at it right i was able to see the sun disappearing and melting into into the water mm. into the sea and you had the princess island slowly lighting up yes. with their you know charming little lights and everything and the entire promenade was also coming alive people were going out and uh, and 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 they were having fun and everything at that point i said to myself okay there's a, there's a different lifestyle here yes. there's a different life yes. here and the life that is here in between the islands and the and and the you know Kartal Maltepe Drogos area, it's it's so extremely different than the life yes. uh, that is uh, taking place in places like such as uh, Beylik Tuzu and Esenyurt and everything. When you look at these places, Kartal Maltepe Drogos, people have been living there for generations. Oh, yes. And there's an established community culture there. So when you go there, you get to integrate to that very particular community culture. I agree. Whereas in places like Beylik Tuzu, okay, lovely places. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not knocking them, but at the end of the day, you do not have that sense of belonging because the yeah. place doesn't have a culture of its own. There's a portion of the clientele when you tell them Istanbul, they say, oh no, too crowded, too busy. Yeah. It's not a city for me. I'm looking for more down south, like Antalya, Marmaris, Bodrum, et cetera, whatever. I'm sure they do not know the places on the Asian side, such as Riva, Chile, and et cetera, that no, could yeah. give them the same feeling. Talk to me, because you, you do also have a property in, yes. in one of those places. Yes. Talk to me about what kind of a uh, sea resort lifestyle is is possible within the Asian It side? is actually the place for me to uh, spend whole of my pandemic time right. uh, during the COVID time, you know. It's surrounding by forest and there's a very lovely beach to go. So um, uh, it's it's really amazing a resort place for Turkish people, known for all locals, known by locals. Uh, after this COVID, it becomes very popular because everyone's goals started to purchase property there. Uh, and um, if if you've never been there, just go there um, and you can see how um, the green 
forest can combine with the sea. Mm. River as well, the same. Um, and it's really like it's imagine 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm spending my uh, hours in the traffic daily, you know. It takes just 40 minutes to yeah. go there to relax during weekends. I think to myself from time to time, man, why do not I have a place in one of these little towns yes. on the Asian side? So on weekends, I can go there for relaxation. Yes. And, and mo most people are doing that. Place. Yeah. It's definitely the perfect place to have a relax, especially when you want to change your place. Uh, and every time you're living in an apartment, it's very nice to stay in the garden, enjoy with the garden, enjoy with the swimming pool, especially when you have kids, um, and go to the seaside mm -hmm. for walk, even for winter time. Sometimes I'm going there. They're beautiful places. Yes. Nazrin, thank you very much. You're welcome. It's been a lovely catch up. Um, if, uh, the, if I am to summarize what we actually talked about is, well... Actually, we talked about a couple of things. Nazrin is somebody. She is uh, she's somebody that you know, and she's a single mother living in on the Asian side. She has a son that goes yeah. to um, one of the best schools uh, in Istanbul, and uh, we talked about the education part of it. We said that on the Asian side, you do not have less opportunities for quality education. We said there's there's more quality housing. There's there's more culture there. And in the community culture, uh, as when you when you look at the nature, it is more abundant on the Asian side. And if you are thinking about owning a piece of lifestyle, Asian side is a great place to do that. And uh, that's what um, Nazrin has done. And Nazrin says that she's extremely happy that she has done that. Yes. Anything else that you want to add? Thank you. For if the clients really want to know about more in Anatolian site for lifestyle, they can contact me as well. Sure. Uh, with this WhatsApp number, you can contact us. I'll get you in touch directly with Nazrin if you have any specific questions about um, where exactly you want to live. What are some of the requirements that you have? Maybe you have children that you want to send them uh, to schools and you have been school hunting uh, by yourself and you just want an opinion an expert opinion, somebody who has an experience for that, Nazrin is here. So if you can get in touch with us through this number, I can get you in touch with her. Thank you. Nazrin, thank you very much for coming. Guys, please like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one. See you.